Cheers. Oh, you're not going yet, are you? I've just took the kettle on. Huh. This way. You've been making your own toast. Oh, no, you don't. <sighs> what are you doing? I want to know exactly what that was about last night. I told you I slept. Well, maybe I don't believe you. Well, maybe you should find somebody else to sponge off. Didn't we oh. say we're moving out soon? OK, fine. Do you know what? You run off. But I'll tell you now, I will get the truth out of you eventually. Not if, when. What the hell are you playing at? Ah, oh, now your mates have pulled together to get you a, a strippogram. I've gone for the mechanic theme, the ladies love that. I hope there's a good reason why he's wearing overalls. Yes, there is. He's working back here. Oh, you've given him a job back? Well, we need the extra manpower, Dango. What? It was like having a big toddler working here. Go and sort that job out in Robertsville, will you? Have you got any idea how many customers he lost us when he nicked that car? Ross, you even think about nicking a car again, I'll nut you into next week. You got that? Hmm? Satisfied? No. Tough, because he's staying. Fine, then I don't. What you on about? You reckon that you can run the garage without me? Do it. Because as long as he's here, I'm not. Where is he? Okay, no. Ooh. Ross, this guy we gave his job to. This poor sheep put you up to it, did you, Mary? Well, they put me up to anything he cocked up. Except it wasn't his cock up, was it? It was yours. Look, I've been carrying his backside since the day he started. He's lucky he lasted this long. I've never had any complaints before. Well, well, not many, anyway. Look, I felt sorry for you, Dan. Do you know how pathetic you are? You're a joke. You're a... Oh. You know that this was you. Except you're too much of a coward to admit it. But well, you know what? This isn't over. Not by a long shot. What's all that about? It's cocked up, it's sorted. Why is she saying it's all your fault? Something else has happened, hasn't it? What is it, Kane? Tell me. No way, Kane. You're not walking away from me. You, you didn't mean what I said. One more word. What are you going to do, Kane? You're going to throw me out? Well, you know what? Do it then. Just give her me a. No chance. For God's sake, what is it you're so frightened of? <sighs> Kane, please. Come on, whatever it is, you've got to tell me. Right. Not here. Well, I'm all ears. OK, you were right. I have been covering up. And? The reason I slipped is because I've been getting this weird vision. Blurry. I knew it. And these edits. How long's it been going on for? A bit. And you thought you'd just keep it to yourself? Well, I knew what everybody had said if they found out. They already take the mick out of me for being past it. I get this. And now you're just going to fob me off with some pathetic little story about needing bifocals. It's the truth. Fine, well, do you know what, Cain? We can keep this up all day, cos I've got now better to do. Fine, OK. OK. Maybe I have had the odd thing. Thing? Dizzy spell, a senior moment, I don't know. There was no car scan, was there? You just blacked out, didn't you? OK, I am taking you to A&E right now. Like that's gonna happen. Well, either we do that or I ring Moira and tell her right now. So you tell me what's it to be. I mean, it's like them pound shops in here. Who comes in here in the afternoon? Junkies and students by the look of things. Mm. I think I had a right cob on him this morning, you know. So much to do with meeting up with his mum. If you ask me, if she's not been in touch all this time, then he's well out of it. Plus, I reckon she's right at the ball. Hey, Pete and Debbie are getting on well, don't you? You're just going to wait around like this, because if you are... Sorry. Just trying to lighten the mood. Yeah, well, don't. It's been ages since we had a little natter. It's nice. Anyway, at least it's only you read the checking out. You know, if it was the other end, they'd have to stick a finger up. <gasps> right, OK, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No need to do a runner, OK? We'll just do what you want. We'll sit here in silence. Mr Dingle? Oh, at last. I'm surprised I didn't get deep vein. What sits out there for three hours? You want to follow me? Not exactly a picture of Elf himself, is it? I gather you've been having dizzy spells. First off, don't listen to a word he tells you because he's a liar. It's Mrs Dingle, is it? No, no. It isn't. Mm, that's a long story. Basically, his wife doesn't know about it. 